Happy Foot. Welcome to, ooh, maybe not. All right, let's try that again. I like my Irish intro. I'm gonna do it. See you later. Welcome to Makeup for the Mermaids and the Stars. I attempted to do a man for uh, a makeup tutorial on July 4th and I mean I did one but it was I, <laughs> I was going through some things and uh, uh, it was not good I um... <laughs> all right now that I've made myself angry I think that we should start doing this makeup because uh, I'm not gonna get any like less angry <laughs> It was not good. So, uh, uh, I'm going to do another one today. It is later in the day, so instead of my usual coffee, I have uh, Lennon Earl Grey tea from <laughs> the tea shop across the way from my work. I don't remember what it's called. It's, um, I will link to it later when I can remember it or find the container. So uh, 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 with our iced tea here, uh, as I said, it's later in the day. So I just spent the whole day cleaning my house and I feel wonderful. So I, it, it is, I still want to get my mermaiding in. So let's do a makeup tutorial and let's do it right. And let's have fun and be upbeat and not be like crying my way through it because I was insulted by, uh, anyone <laughs> who is inclined to insult me uh fuck them <laughs> it doesn't matter today is not about uh, you know and, and i was really bogged down by the whole um uh, freedom independence separation uh themes so eh, not bogged down but y weighted down i guess kind of like bogged down but less swampy uh <laughs> So today we're going to do a uh, me and Four's wake up and it's going to be um, better than the last one. Uh, not that you will have seen the last one, but in replacement of the last one, because the last one was so terrible that I've literally been working on it since July 4th and not been able to do anything with it. So without further ado, uh, let's get to it. In my previous makeup videos, it's taken fucking forever and it does take about an hour to do Mian's makeup uh, partially because I'm very slow at it and partially because I'm sitting here yapping away while I'm doing it so we'll get to it as quickly as possible um, but I also found out how to put longer videos on my YouTube so it's not gonna be that short <laughs> I'll try not to ramble my way through it got it yeah all right no I, it's like I'm telling myself <laughs> you're not gonna ramble the whole way through it got it I got you man I got you I understand uh, but I'm gonna, probably gonna do it anyway <laughs> I also am gluing Nian's bra again because it, it's coming apart but to be fair I did hot glue rope that I got at the dollar store so you know um, do it yourself -ers. right that's not a complete thought I'm sorry I'm really trying to get into the, the crafting of my own um, mermaid stuff. Instead of, it is the trend in the mermaiding community to, uh, one, spend a lot of money, uh, and two, uh, support other artists who are making things rather than making things themselves. Some people do, uh, some people don't. And I can't say that I always do because today, part of the reason why I'm dressing up uh, as Mian is because I got these beautiful new braids from my friend Breezy at the Oaken Bracken. Oaken Bracken? Oh man, I love the sound of that. Uh, uh, um, but aren't they gorgeous? They're Mian's colors and they're, uh, they got little Celtic, uh, I'd say admonishments, but that's not right. Adornments, there we go. Celtic adornments. Uh, little stones looks like it's possibly uh, carnelian and maybe a type of jasper it's beautiful anyway um, 
So I'm going to go, I think uh, in lieu of, I don't really have a lot of time. <laughs> so if, depending on uh, where the sun is when I'm done doing this makeup video, I'm either going to go to a little creek in my backyard, um, but if the sun is too far down for that to show through the trees, then I'll head up to Edmonds Beach. That's my, my usual go-to, and I, I love it. It's beautiful, So and especially beautiful at sunset, which I don't think I have captured yet on these fine videos that I make. So, um, but back to what I was saying is that this is the... I, I have... I, I do like to support other artists and their contributions in the mermaid world, or just the, the fantasy cosplay whatever you want to call it. Uh, so this is by Open Bracken, but I also want to get in the habit of creating my own. And so far this is really the only thing that I have uh, done, but I've gotten great use out of it. It's super cute. You know, I, I am in the middle of making this oyster crown out of real oyster shells, and by God, it is so heavy and so like ridiculous, just absolutely utterly ridiculous and I want to keep it going and make it just the most extra thing extra it's got to be so extra and it's gonna be so heavy and it's like only I can bear that crown only <laughs> quit it um but it will be something that I couldn't possibly sell because it it is meant to be so unwieldy um, another thing that I'm working on is I got this um, mesh shirt online from, is it Kate Kaysen? Uh But just kind of a standard little mesh guy. And I want to put... Um, see, there's this brand called this, uh, I, Thistle Inspire or The Thistle Inspire, I'm not entirely sure. But they have these beautiful... Uh, body suits and bras that have kind of a mesh like this and then um, uh, embroiderment, uh, embroidery, uh, em embellishment, <sighs> fucking language, but uh, they, I wanted to make my own and I don't embroider, but I could definitely sew some shit onto this mesh shirt. I can do that. So I'm going to do that, but I have to figure out exactly what it's for, who is it's for, who is a what's it, uh, and it might be uh, arguably for this tail, because I don't really have any top for this yet, but at the same time, I'm gluing this almost every time I wear it, so maybe it'll be for me and as well, and uh, it would be nice to have something, I, I think the mesh shirt is like mildly more appropriate because you're mildly less naked and uh, I don't know how legit that is but I, this is how I feel and um okay so this is all glued up let's get started with the actual makeup Some tunes going, huh? Here's our um, our royalty-free Japanese music that lasts about 16 minutes. Let's hope that it doesn't go into commercial or anything like that. All right, all right. So our first steps are always our concealer and our foundation, then our powder, then all the rest. So these NYX. Under the eyes, over the eyelids for a primer, and anything else you want to conceal, right? Getting ahead of myself. This just kind of creates, uh, uh, it takes away those dark circles and creates a nice, uh, like, even tone. It's less about concealing, more about just evening out that, that general hue, right? Right.
think about how weird that music's going to be once I edit this video, but let's try not to make any mistakes or have to cut much, uh, much out, right? Right now I'm currently using an editing program that came with my computer, literally called Video Editor, and it doesn't have the option of uh, laying images over another video sound. It doesn't you can't layer. <laughs> so you can add audio, um, you can kind of layer the audio, but, and maybe I'm just a dunce and I haven't figured out the program, but uh, I don't think it has that function. Big brush, powder. This usually comes with some sort of a, a sponge or a little dab thing. Uh, I have long since lost it, so do what you can. I can't quite say that we're all done because uh, we gotta add a little bit of contour, right? Contour is my Clinique. That guy. Uh, in combination with my Artiste, right? Right by the cheekbone. It always looks so silly when I'm putting it on, uh, like mutton chops, but it looks good when the wig is on and it's all hidden by the rest of the makeup. <laughs> so you kind of got that. It looks like it will fade into a nice uh, contour here. And I think what you're supposed to do is put the contour and the foundation over it, right? But um, we're not doing that today. Mm -mm. And basically anything you want to do as far as the makeup, I mean, just make it work for you, right? Uh, we'll see how this turns out, whether or not it's... Um, what we want, and if it isn't, then we'll change it next time. It's beauty in any artistry, right? And then I'm gonna blend it in just a little bit more here. Sorry, <laughs> moving along without you here. Uh, Tartiste, uh, the blushes, we're gonna build in the blush a little bit. Uh, I'm using this bottom color. Uh, Mian's always got a lot of rouge. A little sun-kissed, uh, not as much as Uwata. So kind of blend that in with, uh, with, blend it in with your contour a little bit. subtle today. Usually Mian has um, white streaks down the side of her face. I'd like to eventually get her kind of like... Uh, I'm not going to... I mean, she's not like her original design where she kind of has like the white streak all the way down, partially because her tail doesn't, but it does have a yellow streak all the way down so I could play with that. But also I am... Um, <laughs> Uh, uh, I may or may not be commissioning a, uh, Mur Taylor original uh, selkie tail, uh, in the works, with a white belly, uh, modeled after Har Lucio. It may or may not be a thing, but, uh, um, that's neither here nor there. Uh, but I want each of these 
personas, each of these characters to, to be different, you know, to have something different to offer so that um, when people, if people hire me or just uh, if I'm out playing a character, I can have something different to, you know, uh, uh, draw from, I suppose. So I think that's done. Uh, me and the sparse freckles, so uh, we will get a few going, but not make it as dramatic as Uwata. You know, it's, I'm playing around with the idea that Uwata and Mian are sisters, or um, from the same pod, or, or, or something like that. They're, they're related in some way. So they're both uh, of Japanese and Irish heritage, uh, thus the Japanese music, right? But Mian is arguably more Japanese, um, then Uwata, I, I'm, I'm guessing that Mian stayed in Japan while Uwata, uh, she kind of made her way to, um, well, her parents made their way to Ireland, and she ended up making a life there. So, uh, but Mian, I think, was, I don't know, she must have been, she must have been from an earlier litter? Would you call it a litter if it's a mermaid? Uh, um, I'm gonna have to look into that. It, um, well, again, neither here nor there. So she would, uh, she's of the same heritage, but she's um, more Japanese influence. All right, we've got our, our two types of freckles here, uh, broad freckles and fine freckles, just on the cheeks, a little bit on the nose. All right, so this pencil uh, uh, did a weird thing, and all the freckles are like hollow. Isn't that weird? Cool. Okay, first, uh, first stage here. Fine freckles next. Usually, I do this stage after the eyes, so uh, and. Let's do something different today, huh? So we'll, we'll go with Mian's basic. Um, one thing I stressed uh, about in the video I uh, failed to do was uh, Mian's cat eye look, right? She's got the, the dark smoky eyes uh, that are somewhat rounded, but event er, uh, but go into kind of that, that upward turned cat eye look and... Um, <laughs> I actually talked about it quite a bit in that video and annoyed myself with it. Um, but that's the basic uh, idea behind her her look, is that she's got those black smoky lids, a little bit of freckles, uh, high contour, not quite as much as Iwata, but enough, uh, and lips that kind of go out and are more rounded, kind of a, the old pinup style of lipstick. Other than that, I kind of oh, oh, and the uh, the white that goes down here on her eyes. But other than that, I kind of vary it up a little bit every time. She's got extra thick lashes, but you know what? That's the fun in doing this, right? Is that it's going to be a little bit different, and you can play around with it. And I'm still trying to figure out exactly what she is like. So uh, we'll finish the freckles, and then. I, I kind of, what I really would like to do, and I don't really have the, the tools for it, is I've seen a lot of people do kind of scales at the side of the face, and I think man would look like, look like a man. I think it would be a lot of fun to do that um, with her. So, uh, I don't know, let's get the freckles on first and then see what we're doing. The next thing should be, um, are we going to try, let's try, let's try today, let's try some scales. Uh, just a few over and around the freckles, we're going to use this, uh, this boutique thing that we used, a thing, uh, it's a lip pencil. Scales, right? There's a chance this is gonna mess up and make look ridiculous everything that we're doing, but you gotta try, right?
you know, I do want to take this opportunity um, just to say that I, I've done a couple of videos in which I was having tough weeks, and I do just want to address that and say that I'm having a good time here. I'm, I really do enjoy my life, and I'm not always melancholy, you know? And usually when I am, it's because of men or situations with men. And, um, I, I want to make the conscious effort to not let men or feelings for men or wanting to please men, uh, rule my life. That has to be a thing. Because it makes me miserable. And I don't want to be miserable. We're happy mermaids, healthy mermaids, right? But I don't, I don't want to be constantly... I think that's part of empowering others, is I have to empower myself in that as well, and not be constantly susceptible to what other people think of me, um, and what other people expect of me, and especially what men want from me, because they're never happy, and I want to be happy, so I'm going to ignore them. <laughs> See, I'm just kind of adding some shading here. It looks ridiculous now, but I, what I think I'm gonna do is go over and do a darker outline with my like other freckle color and uh, kind of draw them in almost uh, and make them very pronounced. Because with this dramatic makeup, it, it almost always turns out less than what you expect it to. So let's go all in full ham, <laughs> and uh, uh, we can scale it back if necessary, ha, ah, scale it back, uh, uh, but let's, let's just get really dramatic with it, and Nian is very dramatic, so let's do that and uh, see where it takes us, huh? Pretty cute. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna put on, um, mm, we're just gonna apply this brow mascara real quick, kind of to get it out of the way. Um, there we are. Lose your eyebrows. So, I think the next step with the scales is to apply some eyeshadow, kind of to color it, to fill it in. So let's see what we got, huh? Since it's Mian, we'll be working with uh, some oranges, some reds, uh, maybe get some teals and yellows in there. But again, those are also Uwata's colors, so we gotta be careful to vary it up. Mian's eyes are always uh, orange. I use this Storm Dust and Lunar Eclipse to kind of widen it out and then uh, the zero gravity uh, to darken in the creases and then black over the lids. I do a kind of this greasy black. Um, um, it's not really a primer. It's, it's greasy. It's a smolder eye lining gel. So it's a gel. Uh, but I put that over and then uh, get some matte black over top of that and then kind of blend in the black with the zero gravity. Uh, we will get to that. But because I'm using kind of these orangish brown palettes for these orangish brown colors for the eyes, uh, I we can kind of make the scales match that a little bit, but also have a bit of color. Now keep in mind this is an experiment, so we're gonna see how she uh, uh, see how she goes here. Uh, also, I'd like to add in a couple of scales in this white before we before we do that. I'm all over the place, huh? Because before we start uh, filling in with color, we should have all the scales kind of drawn out, right? This song is called "Refuse to Be Denied," and I'm I'm feeling it, you know. 
I'm feeling it. And white uh, in some of these scales to kind of brighten them up and bring them out. They might get lost a little bit in the coloring of the scales, but uh, if we put enough on, maybe then we'll see. Looks a little crazy right now, but let's get some eyeshadow going on that. And some of the tail, real quick, huh? And do a comparison. You're like my my tail rack over here, I'm real proud of myself. Uh, so this is Mian's tail, and it goes from a teal to yellow out to oranges on the side. So let's let's try that. Actually, I'm going to apply with uh, a cotton swab. And I lied, this is totally a lot of color, but uh, I'm using the, the Mystic Ice here. But that's going to match this tail a little bit better than our funky green. kind of going to wash out the white on these scales, but it's going to blend in with them. And so the white will make it pop and we won't exactly see the white scales, but we'll see uh, a brightness, a highlight in the scale under the color, right? Same thing, other side. Not same thing other side, you know why? Because we haven't done the white on the other side. So we're doing this one side at a time, apparently. That's okay. Um, and we'll blend out that teal into the, uh, well, I guess the yellow is going to be down the center. The orange is going to be down to the side, right? So let's get a little bit of that green kind of in there. Oh, that's a lot of bit of green. I love it. bit of that gold that gold I want the gold give me the gold Anybody? I don't actually have a yellow which is a shame I almost bought a salt and pepper package <laughs> the other day at Ulta and then I was like no, <laughs> don't, don't buy that shit, don't, I, I, you know, with money, I just, I can go, you can really, you can spend a lot of money on makeup and, um, accessories and stuff like that, and so, getting into the, the feminine world here, as it were, uh, I'm finding out just how much, how many dollars can be eaten up by the cost, right? Well, this is gonna do hopefully not anything bad. <laughs> it's kind of nice, even it out, blend it in, doing the thing. Okay, but I don't like. Uh, I think it needs more than just orange. Actually, we're gonna lay down some. Oh, no, we're not. This is my favorite 
eyeshadow that I've had since high school, so we're not going to use that, but uh, it's almost out in the, the bygone era, right? And that's kind of kind of the only orange that I got. Let's, uh, let's supplement with our rouge here. Oh, that's kind of a pinky orange, but... Oh yeah, that's nice. He's nice. That's classy. I kind of want to go in there with the white again. So I lost some of that definition. And add a little bit of the definition back. Starting to look pretty cool though. That holy business is one side of the face. All right. It's cute though. And I'm going to make a lot of noise, but I'm going to add to the definition of the scales just by adding some of this black mix right underneath uh, to do a final um, outline or underline or outline. Also, I really can't see at this angle, so I'm going to stop uh, putting in definition. So, before we do anything else, let's uh, let's spray that with some fixative. We're not even... Oh my gosh, it's going to take all day. Look how cute though. That's really cute. Oh, I like the way the freckles go into the scales though. That's super cute. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's almost six o'clock. <laughs> we still have the second half of the face to do and uh, touch up this side and also do the eye makeup. So let's go. Uh, I may not make that beautiful sunset, but maybe we'll do a twilight stroll, huh? Um, the thing I want to touch up here is uh, the under shadow of uh, uh, the scale. So I'm going to go in with the zero gravity, that's the brown one, and give just a bit of shading under those scales, right under that line mark. Yeah, I like that. 
He's nice. Uh, yes, but... There definitely is. Yeah. Like, why train someone? <laughs> like, why, like, it's true. Like, why train somebody to try to be on your level when you're just at a different fucking level? Yeah. You know what I mean? And Slater, one thing that you have to remember about yourself is that you're wicked fucking smart. You know? You're wicked fucking smart. You're super talented. And in general, you definitely have, you know, uh, an ability to connect with your spiritual self, your artistic and creative self. And those specific things make you very feminine. They just do. It's a natural ability that comes to you that is fucking awesome and phenomenal and is honorable in itself. It's Slater. Can of worms, man. Yeah. Yeah, we know how to play that already. Look in yourself. How are you feeling about it? Yeah. Trust your intuition. Trust your thoughts. And you're feeling like the absolute super duper person for you. Like, look at the action. If you're unable to filter uh, between what, like, the, the qualities that you perceive in somebody, because you can see them having it they have already and what it's bringing you now. Like, those are things to look at. It's yeah. Okay. Hey, for a smart girl, you know, just because you can look into somebody's soul and see their potential doesn't mean that's where they are now. For sure. Just because you're able to look at someone's abilities and look at their compatibilities doesn't mean that they're worthy of you. <laughs> <laughs> I I need your motivation in my life, Slater. I do. <laughs> Impact is there, or is uh, having to do with your address? You feel more comfortable getting packages there. But I feel like you told me one time that you can't actually get packages like at your apartment. It depends on how big they are. But Slater, real quick, real quick, I just have to get your permission, like literally, to uh, I'm recording right now. Are you cool if any of this ends up on YouTube accidentally? Oh, <laughs> all right, all right, continue, all right. <laughs> You're so awesome. Can you give me, like, give me, give me two seconds later. I, I just have to say one thing, and then I'll, I'll, uh, I, and then I want to hear. All right, so, um. Zero, zero gravity goes in, uh, in your creases here is what I'm motioning about. Uh, then we're going to blend with storm dust, uh, over the lids and over top. What we're doing is creating the smoky eye look, uh, blending out. And then we're going to put black over the, the lids here. But, uh, before we do that, we want to lay in all of our, uh, all of our, uh, uh, hues with the orange and the dark in the creases so that uh, when we lay on that black, there's a nice, uh, the, there's a nice gradual uh, effect, right? All right, Slater, you can continue. Are you using a blending brush? I, ah, it's funny you should ask. I am using yeah. this blender brush right here. See, Slater. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm using. Well, I heard you narrating. I'm like, well, are you blending it though? <laughs> 
Because you have to lay down the oranges and everything, and then you take the blender brush. And so some of this stuff, I'm like, exactly. <laughs> I love it. Some of this stuff, I, I'm like motioning to, so they'll see what I'm doing. They'll know. But, uh. Yeah, absolutely. And I thought it was really cool. I, I don't know, later when I go to do my um clothing and stuff, like the next week probably, I thought about like um renovating my space might be really helpful to people and I thought it would be really cool. So I thought accompanying that it would be cool to just kind of do like lifestyle stuff. So, you know, like my my transformation, my house, uh Yeah. Chicken is like fish to you? Tell me more. Yeah. Same here. 
Granola. Hell yeah. <laughs> Slater, oatmeal is my jam. eat them. Could I, could I put you on pause for 30 seconds later? I've got to narrate one thing. All right. So with Mian's lipstick, you want to put a liner on first and you kind of round the lips out. Be careful of reshaping the lips because you don't want to, uh, when the light catches it, you can actually tell what is your lip and what is the makeup. So try and keep that in mind as you are uh, uh, applying the liner. But generally go out and drag it back in. You want to make the lips as round and full as possible. Thank you, Slater. I wasn't. I, I'm past the eyes. We're doing lips now. Oh, okay. All right. Because when you're talking about eyes, I feel like you should make the difference between the hooded eyes and not because I have hooded eyes. And I'm telling you, when I go to do a makeup look, like that, you know, with some people, like, that don't apparently have hooded eyes, and I'm not, like, what I, I do know what the difference is. It's basically like, I got I got some lid. I talk about putting it in the creases and things like that, which I think will apply. Oh yeah, tell me all about it. What is that? Yeah, so it's, it's like full-size product, and you can put in your preference. So, like, if you prefer that things are, like, vegan or, like, whatever friendly or whatever, you can put that. And, like, what your looks are that you're going for. So, it's, like, if you're, your, like, dramatic looks or if you're going for, like, neutral looks, which is what I put in. So, they send me, like, really neutral products. But they send, like, like a lot of this stuff. So, I had a box for probably a year and a half and the products that I gave you mermaid products and blah 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 for your specific um, Christmas present. Slater I use that all the time every time yeah so those are from boxy terms uh huh so but like well but certain ones though like other ones I bought but like but most of them are from boxy so, like, there, you can put in your preference, like I say, of, like, what kind of makeup you want and if you, like, what your skin type is and blah, blah, blah. And it says, um, well, you can get a subscription monthly, but I was going to give you, like, a little taste of it. So, I was going to give you, like, three months of it, which is, like, 60 bucks, not, which I shouldn't tell you the price. That's rude. I'm sorry for your birthday. <laughs> but, so, I love it. But it's not, but it's not super duper expensive. You know what I mean? Like, it's, and they'll send you, I think it's five products kind of based on, like, what you're looking for um, for three months. And I know you're trying to test out, like, the makeup that you like and, like, some brands that you like and stuff like that. So I thought, like, you know, that would be fucking super dope. Slater, I love it. It's so thoughtful. Well, to be honest, like, I wouldn't do your nose at all. Like, so, for instance, like, for my nose, I do, like, I wish I could show you on camera because I feel 
feel like it's hard to do it but it feel like feel like the bottom of my nose of my nostril of my so like my two nostrils and the bottom of my nose mm-hmm. because I have a really long big nose which is <laughs> actually like really that big at all but like for my face or whatever so like if I'm just doing if I'm doing movie makeup then I contour like the bottom of my nose and the the reason that I do that is because contour is all about shadow play mm-hmm. and so by doing like the bottom of my nose like parallel to my chin right sure literally like parallel to like to my chin so like not where and by my two like open nostrils um it makes my nose look um wider does that make sense so like less pointy and by doing that less big okay does that make sense the way uh, i'm putting it uh yes i wish i could show you on my face like that's the thing. I, I would need the visual. I, I can imagine it, but um, I I mean I'll take your word yeah. for it. <laughs> Wait, no, go ahead. I, I'm doing the freckles on the arms, that's all. This is the last step. Uh, then we're going to put on the Celtic knot bra, put on the wig, put on the braids, and we're going to uh, get this show on the road. It is 7.46 in the fucking evening. I have definitely missed that sunset. But you know what? The Slater called. I love it. I'd rather be talking to her. And so we're going to go out. What now? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> so we're having a good time, and I'm gonna go out in the the evening hours, dress like a mermaid, and freak some people out. So that'll be fun. Uh, uh, all right, let's uh, let's freckle up, let's get our gear, and let's get ready to go. Yeah! All right, Slater, go ahead. All right. Oh, okay. So you're a six twenty-two. Got it. Okay. Boom. And then apply. All right, Slater. Give me thirty seconds here. Thirty seconds. All right. All right, folks. Here it is. Uh, the final result. All in costumes, scales, everything ready to go. So we're gonna go out, have a night on the town, or probably not, because I I don't tend to go like this in public. But uh, we are going to. See uh, do whatever we can. <laughs> it's 8 o'clock, so, uh, we'll see, uh, where the night takes us, right? Right. All right. Uh. All right, go ahead. Hold on. <laughs> oh, cool! Slate, in case I... What? I'll take the quiz. <laughs> Hi guys, it is now um, five and a half hours later from when my sister called and I have already done my photo shoot while I was on the phone with her <laughs> and um, I'm eating some sprout or Brussels sprouts and quinoa and I'm going to do my dramatic reading but I've, I've lost my Celtic bra and I've uh, gotten food. <laughs> And it's almost midnight. <laughs> and I never went outside. But you know what? Tonight was wonderful. And sometimes the unexpected is just what we need. And I appreciate the universe uh, for showing me that. So, um, I'm going to have a few bites of this. And then we're going to 
Uh, you know what I'm going to do? What I'm going to do is I'm going to post this dramatic reading uh, in a separate video because this makeup video was bloody long enough. All right, Slon. All right, just a close up of the makeup here. Not perfect, but very fun for the first try. Thank you guys. <laughs> 